every time, so easy. Next I'm going to take some mascara of course and I'm going to layer this on my lashes and I'm focusing on my top lashes, I'm not going to do too much with my bottom ones. I'm going to apply some falsies, these are the Feline by EXO Beauty and they are perfect for a pin up look, they just really kind of emphasize the outer corner of your eye. I'm going to add a little bit of black to my waterline up top just to kind of deepen the lashes and that's how it looks. And then I'm going to do my face makeup. I am obsessed with this foundation at the moment. It is amazing and so beautiful. It makes your face look like you have a filter on it. Like it looks so soft and flawless and amazing and blurred and awesome and amazing. And yeah, so I'm mixing two shades to get my perfect shade. This concealer is made to go with the foundation and the two of them together are like a dream team. So I'm just using that under my eyes and I'm also going to use a little bit of a highlighter as well just to brighten up my skin. I know it looks like I've got a ton on my face, but really it's only a few clicks and it goes so far and you can blend it out into nothing. It's so beautiful and I'm going to set that down of course. And just looking at this eye makeup right now, I've just got to point out, if you wanted to rock this eyeliner, you could totally wear it with like a pink or a nude lip. It would look really, really pretty during the day if you want something quite out there, especially if you've got like a school, I don't know, like school event and your teen color is blue or something, I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. It's so cool. I'm also going to use this ambient lighting powder just to kind of highlight my skin a little bit just because it gives a really really pretty finish and then I'm going to follow up with some bronzer and contour and all of that. By the way, while this is going on, you know, just contouring my face and everything, if you're wondering where I got my inspiration from, I actually found this picture of Samantha from Battlelash. Um, on her Instagram, she had like ombre glitter eyeliner, and I was in love with the color scheme. She did blue glitter ombre eyeliner. So I decided to kind of recreate it without the glitter, just so it's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more wearable, but you definitely have to check her out. I'll link her down below. She's one of my favorite Instagrammers as well. Now onto the lips, I'm going to take a bright kind of orange based red eyeliner, I mean what? Lip liner, lip liner would help, and I'm just going to line my lips and then I'm going to kind of mix a couple of lip tars together just to create this really cool custom bright peachy red colour, I don't know. I applied a little bit too much so I'm just blotting my lips to avoid any feathering and I'm going to apply those same first two colors I used on my crease like the lighter browns underneath my eyes just to add some dimension and the tiniest bit of mascara literally like wipe off your brush before applying it then I'm going to highlight my cheeks and then my favorite part of this whole look is the glossy lips so I'm using this lip gloss here I've got a discount code down below for you and it smells good and I'm going to apply this everywhere Ooh everywhere on my lips I should say not on my face not on my forehead so that is the completed look I hope you guys enjoy it and if you did please thumbs up make sure to check out the links down below to crispy and I will talk to you really soon bye the finish still looks the same it hasn't gotten oily it hasn't caked up it hasn't done anything the only thing I would say is it's kind of like cracked where like I have